hello guys here is shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you a very delicious recipe of fenugreek leaves you may call it garlic fenugreek leaves it's very easy to make but super delicious to eat you may enjoy it with roti chapati or boiled rice as well it will be equally delicious so let's see the recipe at first we have to roast some besan that means gram flour so i am adding 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of gram flour and we have to roast it it will take about 5 to 6 minutes on medium flame and here our besan is roasted very nicely so i am taking it out and now for the main curry i am taking a fry pan you may take a curry pan instead there is no problem now i am adding some cooking oil and now we have to let the oil heat well and after that we have to add some cumin seeds I'm adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds here. We have to let it crackle well, and now I'm adding two to three red chilies. We have to roast them nicely. The heat is on medium, and now we have to add some garlic. I have taken about one and a half tablespoons of finely chopped garlic and some whole garlic cloves. So now we have to add the finely chopped garlic here. and we are going to use the whole garlic cloves at the end of this recipe as a tadka so now after adding the finely chopped garlic we don't have to wait for a long time we have to wait for at least uh, 10 to 15 seconds and after that we have to add some uh, finely chopped onion and after 10 to 15 seconds i'm adding the onion here i'm taking a medium sized onion finely chopped here and now we don't have to wait until a brown color actually we need a transparent color of the onion so now we have to wait for some time uh, about 2 to 3 minutes and after that we have to add some tomatoes a big size tomato finely chopped i am adding here after adding tomatoes we have to add some spices also so at first i am going to add some salt to taste half teaspoon of turmeric powder we have to stir it nicely we have to wait for some time until the tomatoes are soft and now i am going to add two green chilies and red chili powder according to taste i have cut the green chilies lengthwise as you can see now we have to mix everything very nicely and now we have to add some water to help the tomatoes be soft and to prevent the red chili powder from burning so i have added some water and we have to stir it nicely and after adding water we have to add the roasted gram flour to the spices i'm adding it all we have to stir very nicely to break all the lumps here so i'm stirring it very nicely and it's being thick very quickly so we have to add water gradually so now i'm adding some more water here we have to add water gradually as it is going to be thick after adding some more water i am stirring it very nicely and waiting for it to be thick again and now i am adding some roasted peanut powder here also simply i roasted some peanuts and cooled them down and after that i have made a coarse powder in the mixer grinder so i am adding 2 to 3 tablespoons of the powder and now we have to stir it again i am mixing it nicely and now it's thick again so i'm adding some more water here and stirring nicely we have to keep adding water gradually until the gram flour stops to soak water and now it's thick again so i'm going to add some more water a little more water i'm adding and now it seems to me that the gram flour has stopped to be thick so now after stirring very nicely i'm going to cover the pan we have to wait for some time until the oil is released from the spices in between we have to uncover the pan of course and stir it very nicely and now you can see that the oil is released very nicely from the spices mixture so now we have to stir it again and now it's high time to add the fenugreek leaves to the mixture so it's okay i'm showing you the fenugreek leaves here they are 
I have washed them very nicely and after washing I drained the water and after that I have cut them roughly as you can see. It will be about 200 grams of fenugreek leaves. So we have to add the leaves here. Now I am going to cover the pan for some time for about 2 to 3 minutes until the quantity is decreased a little. And now the quantity is little decreased and I am stirring everything very nicely. After stirring and mixing, I am going to cover the pan for another 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat. So now let's cover the pan again. And after 2 to 3 minutes, here is the texture. It's very thick now. So we have to add water again. Now again we have to add water gradually for uh, 2 to 3 times. First I have added a little water here, I am mixing it very nicely. After adding the fenugreek leaves we have to wait for about 6 to 7 minutes in total to cook the veggies nicely 100%. So I am adding some more water here as you can see. Actually we have to keep a soft texture of this curry, neither very tight nor very liquid. So after 3 to 4 minutes here is the texture. It is perfect for the curry and the fenugreek leaves are cooked 100% very nicely cooked and now it is time to make the tadka for the curry. So keep it aside and take another pan. Take a tadka pan if available. I do not have it so I have taken another pan here. I am adding some cooking oil. After the oil is heated well, I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, a pinch of asafoetida. and those garlic cloves. I have crushed them a little, I am showing you. Here they are, I have crushed them a little as you can see. Now we have to add the garlic cloves into the oil and now we have to fry them very nicely but we do not need a red or brown color of the garlic. We have to cook them very nicely and now they are cooked very nicely. So, I am removing 2 or 3 garlics to garnish at last and now I am going to add some red chilli powder for a great color of the tadka. The tadka is ready. So, now we have to add this tadka very quickly to the curry. So, I am adding it and now we have to mix very nicely. We have to mix the tadka with the curry very nicely, very evenly and our curry is ready to serve. So our curry is ready, turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. Here it is friends, it is very easy to cook and very delicious, I mean super delicious to eat. You will enjoy it with boiled rice or roti or chapati. So dear friends, try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.